gracias por nada. Gracias por nada. There we have it. The fiery fallout continues as Mexico is out of the World Cup at the group phase for the first time since 1978. Gerardo Tata Martino confirming last night that his contract was indeed up at the end of the World Cup. One of his last quotes as manager of Mexico, quote, I am responsible for this failure. He even used the word fracaso. Tata Martino, his era in charge of El Tri, coming to an end with Mexico eliminated from the World Cup. Tata was not the only one talking after the disappointing win over Saudi Arabia, which in the end was not enough. No, Mexico's goalkeeper speaking as well. Memo Choa, who had this to say. For one bad result, you don't stop the good things you're doing. There are things to improve clearly, but for one mistake, you don't end a cycle and start from scratch. All right, Herc. We've you guessed you we've used get lost on a lot of people on this show. Are we about to tell San Memo or uh, San Memo, as Chad Ochocinco would call him, to get lost? It hurts, but you have to. Really? Yeah. What's the what's the message here? Shouldn't he be preaching the opposite? Well, if you blow it up and start from scratch, that means everybody of a certain age is out, and San Memo's looking for his sixth World Cup. He's made that very clear. So it's self-preservation. Maybe a little. Okay. Um. He did actually say that in the mix zone last night. They asked him directly. He said, yeah, I want to come back for sixth. It's not one mistake. Where am I at? Right here? Right here? <laughs> it's not one mistake, Memo. It's not just one game. It's not just one bad tournament. It's not even just one bad World Cup cycle. Not even a bad 18 months or that the pandemic hurts you. This is finally boiling over. The heirs of Mexican football, Mexican soccer are finally coming to a head. Mm. One TV network managing the interest of a league, a closed system, is finally coming to a head. They're not playing certain players because of all these foreign players that play in your league mm. is coming to a head. Why is it Mexico can be world champions at an under-17 level, a gold medal in a U23 tournament, mm -hmm. and a bronze level a medal, excuse me, and another U23 tournament. I'm talking about the Olympics. Yep. And these players don't graduate into being consistent players above 18 years of age. In Mexican football, mm -hmm. why is it you don't sell these players abroad? And why is it when you try to sell these players, it's a 26-year-old Rodolfo Pizarro that you're asking for $18 million for? Yeah. To send him to MLS? To send him to MLS. It's not just one mistake, mm. one bad game. Seth. It's structural. It's, it's deep. structural. One bad tournament, sure. But the, the mistakes, the errors, mm -hmm. the constant looking away for financial interest. I think that's it. The priority, the priority is not deep. sporting, it is financial. And Memo talked about this as well. One of his other interesting quotes from last night is he said, I hope in the future we can play in Copa Asia. Copa America, and not Los Moleros, the friendly games that He's mean right. nothing in the United He's States. Right. He is right, but especially now. What do you mean, especially now? Well, you're not going to have World Cup qualifiers, right? Okay, you're saying for the next cycle, right? Yes. What I'm what I'm bitter about is Memo is not Go a on. Memo is not a rookie here, right? He's he's 37 years old. He's an experienced veteran. His five World Cups. If anybody, if anybody in the Mexican camp, now that Chicharito's gone had the position, the status, to stand up for the players for the what Mexican quo. football needed yeah. and say to the Federation, say to the bosses, say to whoever, hey, I don't want to play in Los Moleros because it's not going to help us at the World Cup. We need to be in Copa Asia. We need to be in Copa America. You should have been saying that a year ago. You should have been saying that two years ago. You know what? Memo's been around for a decade. He should have been saying that a decade ago. Instead, now he says it in hindsight while he's taking the money on all of those trips. No, 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 no. To me, if this is a real problem, he had to say it a long time ago. But I agree with the sentiment. These moleros are damaging to Mexican soccer, and it is maybe the most evident proof of money matters more than sport for the FMF and Liga Mekis. I could understand Memo not saying something. Mm -hmm. You're an employee is what you pretty much are. I could understand that. Save the self-righteousness that people are going to throw out there. It's for the betterment of the sport. I could understand Memo not saying anything. Well, then don't say it now. Don't say it now. Don't say Because now it seems and, like an excuse. And, and, they and, made us and do and this. That's about why we don't lost. Don't say it now. Don't try to save face and say, it's all good. Mm -hmm. It was just a bad snapshot of time. Yeah. 
this is great. We are still great. Everything is fine. Introduce the meme here where everything's <laughs> burning around you. I feel like somebody's going to Photoshop that uh, immediately. All right, so Memo's quote, not the only interesting one from last night. Tata's quote, uh, of course, getting some run. This Luis Chavez quote, though, to me is probably the most important and the most damning on the manager. In the second game, obviously against Argentina, we didn't understand what Tata wanted us to do. We didn't understand the setup. We defended well for a period of time, but we did not create any chances. So goals couldn't be scored, and we ended up losing that game. Effectively, what he's saying is that we couldn't score, and you can't win playing like that. Whew. So Whew. there are one of two ways you can go with this message. Okay. Bear with me, okay? Just for You're for saying a that second. a lot at this World For a Cup. second, <laughs> just bear with me. Either he's saying it because he's defending Tata, like we players didn't huh. understand. Wow, I did not interpret it that way. Or he's taking a shot at Tata. What were we doing in that game? Yeah. Why did you put us that way? Either way, you're the head coach, and that's a terrible look. Yeah. Luis Chavez is one of the best individuals I've met while playing. When he was a U20 player, when I was at Cholos, he was a stand-up individual, very talented player. He doesn't strike me as the type of guy who takes shots. Mm. But when the message isn't clear, right. that should tell you something. When the message isn't clear on whether you have to defend or attack, in the biggest of stages, mm -hmm. that tells you a lot about the coaching in that moment. Have you ever been in a situation like that where you look at everybody else in the room and you're like, what is he doing? What yes. are we doing? Of course. As a player, what can of you do course. and how do you feel in that moment? Well, uh, hold on. Like, can you adjust it? Can you, can you overcome you can a manager's mistakes? You try to adjust mistakes? as much as you can on the field amongst yourselves, but you're not making the subs. Right. You're not picking the 11. You're not picking the formation. You're not picking the set-piece duties, et cetera, et cetera. Your hands are tied to an extent. If it was already difficult to play against an Argentina with Messi, an Argentina with Martinez, an Argentina with Enzo Fernandez coming off the bench, what do you think it's going to be like when sure. you're hampered, when you're literally handcuffed into a certain style and formation? Right. And psychologically, when you see the lineup and it says, we are going to attack, you get psyched it's up for that. It's a kick to the when you, when you see it, we are set up to defend. It's obviously going to take it down a notch. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.